Hey guys, quick video. So much talk about this on the internet. Welding axle tubes on a Chevy rear end or anyone for that matter. People seem to make statements before getting just moderately scientific. First thing you want to do is determine what material your axle housing is made of. Just start drilling a tiny hole and if you get little spirals coming out like this you have a cast steel housing which means you can mig wire this you need a big machine or you could stick it with 7018 and just heat it to about two or three hundred degrees um, I will show you shortly what cast iron looks like when you drill it you'll have lots of uniform flakes coming out that are almost identical in size you won't get um, I just threw it off there but you saw that spirally bit coming out uh, you won't get that with cast iron. In that case, if you have a cast iron housing, you have to really heat the thing up a lot. And you have to use a 99 nickel rod. Uh, and it's more complicated. So you just have to figure out what you have by drilling. Um, I'm going to quickly show you. I drilled the same hole in a cast iron pipe outside. Okay, I picked up the little twirl. You can see over here that this little spiral came out of my drill, my little test here. So this is definitely a cast steel housing. All right, here we have a cast pipe that I started to weld. And you can see all these fine little pieces. They're all uniform. They all come out looking exactly the same. That is cast iron. It's a whole different animal. Um, sometimes it may even come out in like a powder form. But you can see it's just kind of fine, long, straight pieces. They almost look like splinters. That is cast iron. Um, a lot of plumbing caps, the, the pipe caps that you buy at the hardware store, that's cast iron as well. So you can use that just to see the difference between the two. And this is duller as well. It's kind of more of a gray where the steel has got like shiny, the metal's like shiny. And that'll help you determine what you've got. Once you've determined what you have, uh, if you do indeed have cast iron, uh, probably best to take it to a pro, but this is the rod you want to use, a 99 nickel stick rod. And uh, this is 1 8 which I think is a good size. Um, if you have cast steel, you want to use a 7018 rod. Um, I'd say 1 8 is probably better. And you want to do one inch welds at a time and let it cool, so you'll Weld an inch, rotate it 90 degrees, weld an inch, and just kind of do little welds around the axle tubes like that. I have two 220 volts and a Miller welder. Um, some people say that you need to grind it off there, but um, I might just actually take a MIG wire and run an incredibly small, tiny bead just in that groove and then just go over it with a 7018 as an option. Um, just depends how your welding skills are and everything. Um, so yeah, hope this helps you guys and thanks for watching. I am not a professional welder, just take this as education only.